She's dreamt of this moment since childhood. Today, Nilifor Romani is ready to take to the skies. Afghanistan's first female aeroplane pilot is blazing a trail for the women of her country. But reaching these heady heights hasn't been easy. It was difficult because the females, you know, how the females' situation or rules for the women here. And I just want to change the culture or the old minds that we can do it or I want to do it. She's joining a military operation which is at a crucial stage. With NATO combat troops due to leave by the end of next year, the Afghan armed services are now taking the lead role in fighting the insurgents. Women have played a part in Afghanistan security forces for many years, but still make up less than 1% of the total. When she became her country's first helicopter pilot 25 years ago, Latifa Nabizada had to battle overwhelming prejudice, but now she's calling on women to join up. Afghanistan women, the future of this country is in their hands. We have to work shoulder to shoulder to build this country. The commanders claim their contribution is valued. We are very proud of them. Afghan women are showing they can do what Afghan men can do for their country. The women in this country are still largely treated as second-class citizens. A recent United Nations report described their conditions as among the worst in the world. Here in Kabul, it's estimated that less than two dozen females drive a car, which makes Nilafor Romani's achievement even more remarkable. But she's not taking anything for granted. I'm the only female. And um, if the situation changed, the people, every, everybody that they know me, they make my situation or my life tough. And it will be really tough for me. The future may be uncertain, but for now at least, Nilifor Romani is living her dream and hoping to inspire other young women to follow in her slipstream. John Brain, BBC News, Kabul.